Oh my Z01. You think we can catch up? video with having to get gas again this thing wastes fuel so fast it's crazy oh little snack some e85 it's 2.99 where i'm at for some e85 but some other spots are a little bit cheaper i'd be saving so much more on gas if we switched over to 485 but 480 Five actually means it will burn faster too so I want to try it out hopefully we could get a full 85 conversion done soon because this thing is a gas guzzler man but I do a blend of 4.7 gallons of E85 and then the rest will be 91 since where I live there is no such thing as 93 out here hopefully 485 it'll make this thing about 500 plus wheel horsepower which is pretty fast, this thing being all-wheel drive. It'll for sure be a dig monster with 500 horsepower. We already pretty much have four stars, some pretty light wheels, and then some Mickey Thompsons. Yo, I just realized I need to go get some coolant. This thing's like, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see from here, but it's sitting like all the way at the bottom when it's supposed to be at that line right there. I'm about to brick my Stinger's engine. Now time to go wash this dirty guzzler. Fuel mix, we're sitting at E35. So far, whenever I'm at around 30 to 32, I get fuel cut or when I'm over 40. So 35 is my safe place. Let me know in the comments if anybody else has that problem with their JB4. Dropping off your guys' orders, I gotta say thank you once again for shopping and supporting KDM Built. Without you guys, videos like this aren't made possible. So thank you so much for shopping and supporting. Go get yourself something, get some KDM merch, and represent your guys' culture. A lot of you guys been asking for some POV videos. I really been wanting to go down to LA and go with a couple stingers and terrorize the streets. Before I do so, I really wanna straight pipe the car because right now it's pretty quiet. So many people think that I'm still on stock exhaust. It's only been a week since this last wash and this thing looks so dirty. Has anybody else had issues trying to find what coolant to use for their stinger? Because I was looking at forums. Some of the people were saying to not use the green one and some crazy word. The word was called glycol. Usually coolants have methanol or alcohol. And I guess for this stinger, since it's aluminum, you shouldn't use any of those. But yeah, dude, like this thing is hella low. And I guess this is a common occurrence for the stingers where all of a sudden it just plummets down below the level it should be at oh my there we go topped off topped off and we're full of oil so we're pretty much ready and set to go and rip through those canyons let me run by you guys what we have on the stinger right now because some of you guys are new or some of you guys haven't been keeping up. You guys remember the previous video when we raced the most famous Kia Stinger? 
we installed some white line sway bars and that thing made a huge difference on the ride quality but to support that we are also running some reaction coilovers megan racing control arms front and rear the full set and before we head out i need to actually dial in the tire pressures make sure they're all set so as for the tire pressure i'm gonna set the rears to 30 and as for the fronts we're gonna go 32 right now we're sitting at 39.9 and they're pretty warm already i drove probably a 30 minute drive so they should be hot enough we are using mickey thompson as the tires and forge star wheels so they are pretty light this should be pretty good brembo brakes all around if you guys are wondering what else we're running on the stinger make sure to go check out the other videos i have posted on the channel pretty much everything has been filmed up to date as to what's going on with the stinger time to go whip this baddie e34 which is good that's the sweet spot we're gonna be doing map 4 jb4 all temps look good we are pretty much ready and set to go them hks blow valve sound good we are gonna have a good canyon run aka the american toge Imagine you're going fast through that. Oh no. <laughs> there was no way in hell before without those white lines that this Kia Stinger would have been able to hit that turn while accelerating. Without those white lines, the Kia Stinger feels like a Dodge Charger. It's literal boat. This thing floats like crazy. And now with these white lines, and with the reaction coilovers this thing feels good it feels gripped up feels like it's doing its job feels so good Shit, that thing gripped up.
damn this car feels so good right now we just hit this shit like damn i feel like i'm on a track like this car feels like it's built for this now with just the coilovers white line and the links this car is doing phenomenal i'm assuming those mickey thompson's too play a huge role with those four star wheels i did feel the rear kick out a little bit at one point but not nothing too crazy i feel planted i feel like i'm you know i'm safe doing this obviously if any of you guys are gonna be doing stuff like this this is a closed road we rented this place out this is out here in mexico too if you guys ever plan on doing things like this make sure to stay at your level and do what you're capable of doing if you don't feel safe let off staying within your limits and whatever you guys are capable of and not only yourself but the car as well hey yo What's up, man? hold on let me pull over real quick before has not booted off hasn't said goodbye usually whenever i'm under a wide open throttle the thing just cuts out and then it would throw me back into map zero so the car seems like it's doing fine we didn't cut lean at all our ethanol sensor being at oh my co one that dude's probably ripping it through here oh i want to get right behind him hopefully i can hit a u-turn right here oh my god i want to get right behind him Okay, I don't see no cars. You think we can catch up? Yeah, he's had a car in front of him, so hopefully we can catch up. I wonder how that thing feels on the tow gate. I know that that thing is designed for the track. Oh no. I wanted to get I wanted to get in front. I wanted to get to the Z01. You think I could pass him? Dude is on the opposite lane. Oh look, the ZL1, no! No! <laughs> Whatever, so I'm gonna let this guy pass. I'll let you guys pass. pass Thank you, bro. Pass. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let him pass. He seems like he's driving crazy. Look, they didn't even look to see if, oh my God. <laughs> they didn't even look to see if there's cars coming. Like seriously guys, I look, at the freaking mirror and I just see him in the opposite lane. You guys have no idea how focused I am right now. I used to think the Optima was a track car. This is an actual track car. Checking the temps. Trans is at 208. IET 134. And where we go? Everything else seems pretty much good. Coolant is good. And our oil temp is a little past 200. Usually it sits at about 190. But we're going to let the car cool down. Jeriff just drove by. Let's see if I could capture him. Yeah, right there. I'm gonna try to get the fuck out now. We got Evan pulling up right now in his bagged Kia Stinger and he asked for some custom decals for his Stinger. A lot of you guys have been requesting if I could make some custom decals for you guys and it's now available on the site. Just go onto the website, go under decals and click custom Insta at upgrade and you guys could get yourself a pair of decals for your guys' car to represent your Instagram. It goes a little something like this. You could put it on the side of your window or you could have it on the back mirror 
So make sure you guys go check out the website. Get yourself your custom Instagram at decals. And Evan just pulled up. Head out to the streets of Mexico real quick. Now that the suspension is dialed in, this thing should be a dig monster being all wheel drive. So let's go try it out. I did get the new Grimace shake. Happy birthday, Grimace. This shake's pretty bomb. If you guys did enjoy today's video please hit the like button you guys also subscribe we finally reached 10,000 subscribers and i have a special video getting ready for that so i gotta say thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed i'll see you guys in the next video peace